Hello, I'm Tolheim, and welcome back to more Civilization VI as Noi. Right, okay, so... Let's have a look at the score chart. Let's see who's doing the best in score. Greece and Arabia. Arabia's flying ahead. Crushes, what do I want to do now? I might actually settle a couple more cities. Turn this into a big island empire. Do that, I need to buy some settlers, I think. Can you buy settlers? Yes, you can. 150 gold. Okay, let's buy two. Gold income is still pretty awesome. Kind of interesting how some of the social policies are like direct upgrades of earlier ones. We get more great scientists. Right, where should this go? What gives you the most science? I think Bordeaux is the best choice. There we go. Now let's get settling. This guy over here. Should I probably connect them? There you go, create the escort. Anyway, on to the next turn. Actually, I might try and grab the Panama Canal down here. Two relics. Movement of five. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's plunk down another city here. Uh, what should I build in it? Get a builder first. To improve some of the tiles. It's gonna go expand and science. That's my main goal. Buildings. Do I have amenities? Actually, let's let's go check that. Simply seagulls that flock to our shores now. If we build a seaside resort, we may be able to benefit from this new attraction to the ocean. Seaside resort. That's kind of interesting. Radio is the theater of the mind. Television is the theater of the mindless. Okay, so what do we have here? Jade, interesting. Let's plug my city here. Actually, no, it's probably better to move it back where it was. Get the fresh water. I don't know. Actually, no, let's move it around here so I can benefit from this mountain to get more sciencey stuff. Uh, more production? Let's take to build a settler. 11 turns. I might as well just wait to buy one. But let's get a spy.
Got coffee here, that's a luxury resource. Killing barbarians in the Pantanal. Uh, right. It's found a city. And let's build a granary. Yeah, okay, I like set open borders. He's got uranium. This guy a promotion. What should I get him? Battle cry. And how much does it cost to buy another settler? Let's have a look. Five hundred and eighty. Okay. Guess I get saving. Question is, can I catch up in science and win a science victory before Arabia? I'm getting rocketry now. Build the spaceport. Launch Earth satellite, which is the first step towards a science victory. What's that in five turns? What's going on in my government? Let's have a look. Getting all science bonuses is pretty nice. Science and gold. Probably a good, a good call, I think. Can I buy a settler? Next turn. Put him here so I can put the... Actually, I'll put him here. Maybe I should put him here. Because does the Pantanel provide fresh water? And where is that going to want to get some production? Actually, I want to get science. So I've got the... Plus your science over campus district. So let's try and get this up to three. And both of them up to six. Do double down on my science bonuses. And let's guide the settler now. So I'm quite curious to see if this natural wonder actually produces fresh water. So I'll decide where I'm going to put this last city. Or second to last. I think I'm going to put one up here as well. Next to all these mountains up here. Improvement makes straight roads, but the crooked roads without improvement are roads of genius. Okay, so it does not provide fresh water. It doesn't even, doesn't even provide coastal water or anything. The longest is round of candy. Uh, whatever. I can live with that. I've got a lot of faith. Now the atomic era. We now have the ability to build a space. When you launch a rocket, you're not really flying. Um. There we go. Something bugged out then. So, the first step is to make the little Earth satellite. What's the next step towards the science victory? Let's have a quick look. Launch moon landing. 
So we need to research satellites. So where are satellites? Here are satellites. Isn't that actually that far away? And I still don't have the wheel. Going to the moon without the wheel. I guess I might be becoming Buddhist. Japan keeps sending his missionaries towards me. Right! What shall I buy here? A population of 16 or greater to get the spaceport. So let's get the research lab. Okay, I'll do open borders. He's got toys. That's quite cool. Okay, let's get the city down. So I have founded Skin. Chen. What should I build first? Let's get a granary. Let's get these early cities growing. I've actually been to Shen, which is quite cool. I got his name wrong the first time. Right, okay, so production. What should I get? Let's get a research lab. Go full science everywhere. Actually, I think I need a lot more builders. I might go build a crazy. How much does it cost to buy a builder? Let's have a look. Maybe 235, so not too much. Let's buy a builder. Get some more farms. I think the big stopper for me towards getting this victory condition is actually going to be my production again. Everything seems to be super expensive. And I'm not sure if that's the game or me. So, okay, let's repair this commercial hub. It does take quite a long time to repair your districts. So, if you get pillaged, that it's going to cause quite a bit of problem. Quite some problems. Declare colonial war. If someone is two eras behind you, is anyone two eras behind me? Japan's in the Renaissance, and I am in the modern, so I could declare colonial war on Japan. That's quite, that's quite interesting. Okay, let's get do do do. Get a sewer for extra housing. Because it does need extra housing. I'm guessing these farms are going to help as well. I wonder if your people actually have to work the district tiles with your citizens. I'll check that in my turn. Let's have a look. No. They don't produce anything when worked by citizens. Which is quite interesting. I do kind of like that. So you still have a point to build builders, even if your city has lots of districts, because if people won't work the districts, they'll only work the builder tiles.
Now, because I've got three farms together, does that mean I get the boost to, extra, to food production? I hope so, because that'd be cool. Four food rather than three. If God had really intended men to fly, he'd make. That's really cool. I just completely skipped that quote because I was too interested about building farms. Right, let's get the uh, let's get a monument. Let's get the two. Let's get the town centers in my new cities up and running. While I buy more builders of all my gold. And I think things are going pretty well. Maybe. I'm still pretty far behind the guy who's leading tech, but I'm catching up. Right, builder time. Get more farms. Needs more amenities. Minus one amenities. Displeased. So how bad does amenities need to be before they actually go crazy? Asking the important questions. And like, rebel. Got some berserkers around still I could use to fight them. They do rebel. Okay, so I got my first spy. Interestingly, it shows me the districts that are in every city I can go to. Let's go to Medina, which has... It's Arabia, who is the leading civ, currently in science, and has a campus district. I can steal a tech boost. That is really cool. Oh, you can steal gold from the commercial hub or steal tech boosts from the campus. I want to steal tech boosts. Right, uh, do do do. What should I get here? Let's get. Get some builders. I'm definitely in need of builders. Actually, here I might as well. I'll wait until the build is completed and I'll get some other stuff. Actually, let's buy a, a granary. There we go. You see it there. Imagine if you're like your building overlooked, like a, a granary, like a high rise. Good old scar prefer. Get that mine. And can I build anything else in the entertainment district? I don't know. I think they're in the culture tree. Currently researching nationalism. What am I trying to go to? Democracy. Guess that makes sense. Yields gained from pillaging are double. Total war. Because that includes... Oh, that includes both the districts and everything else. Okay. Military academies and seaports generate one science. Generate 25% less war weariness. I'm really liking some of these. They're quite cool. Police state. Uh, 
That is really good. I want to have... Campus Industrial Zone District Agency bonuses actually get from Communism. Space Race. That'd be a big one. Anyway, next turn. Still got my Viking longships and my berserkers, despite being in the modern era. Oh, sweet! I've boosted my ironworking Eureka. So it's not having the wheels, it also don't have ironworking, I don't think. No. Just built my first iron mine. Well, there we go. Our berserkers must have been using clubs. That gave me a envoy with Kabul. Hundred eighty five for a monument, I can afford that now. There we go. I think. Tromsu, or Tromso, I don't know how you say it. That city's pretty well developed. Question is, can I build the production things on the woods? I know what I'm trying to say, but I'm not saying it very well. Um, lumber mills. That's there you go. That's the one. I'm gonna get Janak E Amal. I'm just terrible at saying names. I've decided. Okay, so my longship's being attacked by a frigate. <laughs> and my longship looks like he's winning that fight. Okay, that's still a tech boost. Um, perhaps I should actually gain sources first. To increase the chance of it being successful. Before I can get a lumber mill, I need to research something, I guess. What do I need to research to get lumber mills? the advantage of not having wheel or anything early game. Machinery, there you go. Should probably get that, to be honest. Go over the new city, see what I can get. Oh, I can build a spaceport. Let's get a campus. Trying to finish off the caravel. Oh, the Viking longship is now definitely losing. So my cities start with walls now, or something. Long ship down. Information era. Our military has learned a way of combining two units into larger scale core. These core units are much more powerful than their singular counterparts. Right That's now, quite cool. There are 31 satellites zipping around the world with nothing better to do than help you find your way to the grocery store. I can launch the moon landing. Human nature, as manifested in tribalism and nationalism, provides the momentum of the machinery of human evolution. Right. 
What do I want to get? Any policies like look of? Let's have a look at military first. Yeah. I think that looks too interesting. Let's have a look at economic. I think sticking to the science ones is probably good. Diplomatic. Yeah. I think I'm liking what my policies are at the moment. Let's stick with this. Research-wise, what do I need to do to complete the science victory? Research nuclear fission, research nuclear fusion, research robotics, and research nanotechnology. So, nuclear fusion, nanotechnology, and what was the other one? Robotics. I'm going to finally research the wheel at some point. There you go. Of the universe of fire. It is construction. Um, let's go to Bordeaux. Good gold, good science, good culture, good faith. Get a new trader. Could get another spy. What's choices? Let's repair the the what? That gives extra science. One more trader than before. I'm researching the wheel in 1876 AD. Yeah, open borders, that's fine. You're still not very happy with me. Oaks University in the Great Zimbabwe. Sometimes the wheel turns slow. <laughs> Here we go. But it turns. I finally researched the wheel. Okay, so trade routes. Actually, let's relocate this guy. Relocate him to Nidoros. I want to try and get some more food in my in my main city. Get this guy down here. Playing great person. So I, need, I need to send him to some jungle. Here we go. Question is, are there barbarians around? Because that would be grim. This guy can build some farms. Here we go. What do I, what do I want to build here? Oh, the spy. Neighborhood. Extra housing. Based on the appeal of the tile. We have 50 gold per appeal of tile when replacing a farm with a neighborhood district. The more science intervenes in warfare, the more will be the need for engineers in the field armies. In the late war, there were never enough sappers at any time. Okay, so let's send this guy to Paris. Nice long trade route with lots of bonuses. I can now build a water mill. Finally, I want to get all these buildings I should have had ages ago. <laughs> Gandhi's declared war on Persley's. Persley's declared war on Gandhi. Go next turn. I feel like having my tech tree being so unbalanced was probably a bad call. But I'm learning, so good things are coming from lessons being learned. 
inventions have been so simple. Stirrups. Sorry, I got too interested in my builders. Okay, so this guy here and activate. Normal people believe that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Engineers believe that if it ain't broke, the Lord made us all out of iron. Sweet. It turns up the heat to forge some of us into steel. Got two technologies from that. I almost got a third. Next turn. Owing Schrodinger. That'd be a cool guy to get. I think Arabia's gonna get him. Man is a military animal. Glories in gunpowder and loves parades. Nighter. Uh, what should I build now? I still want to get hold of the spaceport. It's a population of 16. Not quite there yet. Can't get another trader though. But I shall end this episode here. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.